Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum has officially seen confirmation of this huge breakout. Yesterday on the channel, I obviously covered that Ethereum is starting to break out here. We're just waiting on confirmation. But now that we've seen a successful retest of this level, this sets up Ethereum for potentially a massive move just about to happen. In just a moment, I'll be getting into my next Ethereum price targets, my Ethereum strategy, and my brand new Ethereum trade that I'll let you guys know about over on my Twitter. I'll also be covering the Ethereum funding rates because this is really important to pay attention to right now. And also I'll be updating you guys on the amount of Ethereum that has been burned since EIP 1559 because the Ethereum getting burned is now increasing at a rate that we've never seen before. So this is definitely a video that you wanna be watching all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And if that sounds good to you, just before we jump into it, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these videos future videos. As always, I post these updates every day here on the channel. So simply by clicking that subscribe button once again, which costs you nothing, you're going to be getting this valuable content every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And yeah, quickly recapping yesterday's video, I was talking about potentially Ethereum breaking out yesterday, which of course turned out to be true. But what we were missing yesterday was the confirmation of this breakout. Of course, we saw the volume pick up here, but I was letting you guys know that we need to see a retest of this previous resistance level and turn it into support. And then as soon as we see that, that's when we confirm this breakout and we're going to head higher. And so obviously we've played this out pretty nicely so far since yesterday. And in fact, for those of you that have been following me over on my Twitter, as you can see, I've been giving you guys these extra updates throughout the day over on my Twitter. In fact, around six hours ago at the time of filming this video, I gave you guys this trade signal, letting you guys know that I was entering a long position right then and there with this stop loss. And for those of you that did follow me on that trade, Within a couple hours, we were instantly in profits. And a lot of you guys were also sharing your profits on my trade signal as well. Some of you made 76% looking further down. Some of you made 82% on this move so far. Some of you even made over 2000% gains on this trade signal that I'll let you guys know about over on my Twitter once again. So if you want those extra updates throughout the day and those trade signals in real time, definitely check out my Twitter once again. The link to my Twitter is in the description down below. And also while you're in the description down below, I do actually have a trading tutorial video that shows exactly how I set up limit orders or conditional orders depending on the trade and also shows you how to set up take profits and stop losses all of the important things to know once again you'll find that video linked in the description as well but yeah as I've covered in recent videos but for the new viewers on the channel the technical price target for this move is actually coming in at around 3,800 US dollars per ethereum and as I've also covered recently on the channel something else interesting about that level the subscribers would already know about this but for the new viewers on the channel, that's actually the 78.6% Fibonacci level, once again, coming in at around 3.8K. So we've got two different things on the chart that both point towards 3.8K. So in around that price just there, in fact, a little bit before that price target, I will be taking some profits out of my long position because that's also a part of my strategy. Normally, if we have a technical price target at 3.8K, I might take profits at, let's say, 3,750 because quite often the price might not make it all the way to the price price target. So sacrificing a little bit of gains to actually secure those profits is never a bad thing. And once again, that's a part of my Ethereum strategy. And for the brand new viewers on the channel, I definitely recommend you watching my last Ethereum update video that I posted yesterday on this YouTube channel, because in that video, I explained in depth that right now, Ethereum is actually repeating what we saw back in the beginning of April. And you can clearly see what happens next after we form that ascending triangle pattern in the Ethereum price. And of course, right now, once again, we're forming some something very similar, just on a smaller scale. So I'm not going to go over that all over again in this video. Once again, for the new viewers on the channel that missed out my last video, definitely check that out. And as you can see on the daily Ethereum chart, we've also seen some strong confirmation in the volume just here. Nearly over the past one month, the volume for Ethereum on this daily time frame has been declining to the downside, as you can see. And it's only just with the break of this important resistance over the past 24 to 48 hours that we've finally seen a nice spike in the volume for Ethereum. So this is the volatile move that I was letting you guys know about just a couple of days ago. Once again, I was letting you guys know on this channel that Ethereum is getting very close to a volatile move sometime soon. But keep in mind that even if Ethereum is in a similar time, in a similar sort of cycle, if you want to call it that, to where we were back in the beginning of April, just here breaking out of this ascending triangle pattern. Yes, we saw some incredible gains for around one month, but it was around one to one and a half months later that we actually saw a lot of bearish price action come into play. So keep that in mind as well, even though 
though in the shorter term, you know, talking about perhaps over the next few weeks or so, we could see some amazing gains for Ethereum. I am still expecting quite a bearish time period in the overall crypto markets to come into play within about one month or so approximately. Of course, once again, it is very hard to actually get the exact timing correct, but this is simply just going off what we've seen previously once again. But something else great to see is the fact that the RSI and the MACD on Ethereum on the daily time frame is starting to head back to the upside. As you can see, the RSI is starting to break this downtrend that we've been in for around a month nearly. And the MACD, as you can see, is starting to flip into the bullish. We haven't technically flipped into the bullish just yet, but especially if we see this daily candle that we're currently on close as a green daily candle. So basically, if we close in around the current sort of price, then that will confirm a bullish cross in the daily MACD for Ethereum, which of course is a bullish sign. The last time that we actually saw that for Ethereum was when the Ethereum price bottomed out at around 1,700 US dollars approximately. It was only around a day later that we saw the bullish cross in the MACD when the Ethereum price was closer towards 2,000 US dollars. And obviously you saw what came next in the Ethereum price. We actually saw a 60 to 70% gain just over the next three weeks for Ethereum. So what is driving this Ethereum move? Well, the Bitcoin dominance heading to the downside is one of the main drivers for this bullish move in Ethereum. As you can see, the Bitcoin dominance is crashing to the downside, which basically just means that the altcoins just on average are outperforming Bitcoin. So this is also known as an altcoin season when the Bitcoin dominance has an extended period of time where it heads to the downside. And for those of you that have been subscribed to this channel and have been watching my videos for over a month now, once again, around a month ago on the channel as the Bitcoin dominance was losing these very significant levels just here and actually confirming them as resistance around a month ago, I let you guys know that it's very likely that we're going to see a short term altcoin season. And all of this sort of price action is actually very normal for Bitcoin, Ethereum and altcoins in particular. Bitcoin is usually the first crypto to see a major move to the upside. And then when Bitcoin starts running into resistance and starts slowing down that uptrend and starts entering into a consolidation phase, that's when we see the altcoins come out to play. And that's when we see the Bitcoin dominance fall to the downside, as we have seen recently. And a crash in the Bitcoin dominance is the last thing that we actually see before a crash in the overall crypto markets. So while the crypto market is within this phase just here, once again, we see a lot of the altcoin market perform very, very well. And we've already seen that in some altcoins like Solana, for example, I covered that yesterday on the channel. And also in other forms of crypto like NFTs, for example, NFTs are pumping extremely hard at the moment. And by the way, the NFT market is also another factor that is driving Ethereum's current bullish movement. Because of course, the primary currency to purchase NFTs and to sell NFTs into is Ethereum. Of course, there's different platforms and different cryptos out there where you can sell NFTs without using Ethereum. But once again, the vast majority of NFTs out there are running on Ethereum. And of course, you need Ethereum to purchase and sell those NFTs. And so of course, for those NFTs selling for millions of dollars, the only way that they're selling for millions of dollars is the fact that people are first buying millions of dollars worth of Ethereum to then go and buy those NFTs. So once again, that is providing an extra buying pressure on the price of Ethereum. But just really quickly, going back to the Bitcoin dominance here, and the different sort of cycles of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Once again, as I just explained, and also as I explained in more detail yesterday on the channel, Ethereum usually moves after Bitcoin has its move. And this has been proven time and time again. It was proven back in the last 2017 bull market. Obviously, we saw the major 20K all-time high for Bitcoin in around the middle of December 2017. But Ethereum did not see its all-time high back then for that market cycle until January 2018. So it was nearly a month after Bitcoin topped out that Ethereum topped out. And this was also seen yet again this time around. I'm not saying that this is the bull market top, but of course it was a short term top. But just quickly checking out the Bitcoin chart, where did we actually reach the all time high? Well, that was actually in around the middle of April. The 14th of April was where we reached the all time high for Bitcoin. But checking out the Ethereum chart again, where did we see the all time high for Ethereum so far? Well, that was actually in around the middle of May, roughly around the 12th of May. So once again, nearly a month after Bitcoin topped out, we finally saw the top for Ethereum. So just going back to the Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame, as you can see, we are seeing this uptrend slow down quite a lot. And in fact, we are currently seeing more bearish signs for Bitcoin right now than we are seeing bullish signs. So right now, the short term top at around 50,500 US dollars, it hasn't fully been confirmed as the top just yet. And of course, I'll be covering that in more detail in my Bitcoin update video, which I will upload after I upload this video. So definitely stay tuned on the channel for my Bitcoin video. But yeah, let's just say if that was the top here for Bitcoin, which we saw in around the 23rd of August, simply going
going off what I was saying earlier about the cycles between Bitcoin and Ethereum and the fact that Ethereum lags behind Bitcoin by around one month, give or take, in terms of market tops. Going back to the Ethereum chart, that would give us room for one more bullish movement to the upside, perhaps over the next two to four weeks. Once again, it's very hard to actually determine the exact time frame. But yeah, if that turned out to be a short term top in around the middle of August for Bitcoin, then perhaps roughly around the middle of September, we could see a short term top for Ethereum. But once again, that right now is just speculation and simply going off what we've seen previously in previous market cycles. But in the shorter term, talking about, you know, the next one to two weeks or so, I am actually quite bullish on Ethereum, especially now that we've broken out of this bullish ascending triangle pattern. And also yet another reason to be bullish on Ethereum. Now, this is actually a long term reason to be bullish on Ethereum. This is the total amount of Ethereum that has been burned after we saw that Ethereum improvement proposal 1559. Since this upgrade close to a month ago, there's been over 156,000 Ethereum that has been permanently burned. This has been permanently deleted from the Ethereum network. And by the way, that equates to roughly around half a billion US dollars. And as you can see in the rate of Ethereum getting burned after this upgrade, it was actually around the 23rd of August that we saw this rate actually pick up quite a lot. So right now we are burning Ethereum at a faster rate than we've ever seen before in the history of Ethereum, which once again is another fundamental factor that is bullish for Ethereum because this Ethereum that is getting burnt is obviously taking away from the circulating supply of Ethereum and this is reducing Ethereum's selling pressure because before this upgrade, this Ethereum would have just gone to the people mining Ethereum, which of course then sell Ethereum onto the market, creating an extra selling pressure. But because this Ethereum is now no longer in the hands of the miners and is now getting permanently deleted, that means the people that are mining Ethereum have less Ethereum to actually sell onto the market, therefore reducing the selling pressure of Ethereum and also lowering Ethereum's inflation rate overall. But one short term bearish sign that we need to pay attention to is the funding rates for Ethereum. As you can see just here, the overall funding rates across the entire market are looking very positive right now, which means they are actually very bearish because the more positive the funding rates go, the more long positions that are currently active across all of these exchanges. So for the complete beginners out there, that basically just means that the majority of people out there are betting on the price going to the upside. But when there's too many long positions that are active, when there's too many people betting on the price going to the upside, these funding rates are getting more and more positive, make it more and more expensive to maintain that long position, which creates an incentive to close those long positions after some time. And it also creates an incentive to open short positions. So essentially to summarize the funding rates right here for the complete beginners out there, what we're seeing right now is technically speaking bearish and we are due for some sort of short term call off sometime soon. But once again, this can come into play after we perhaps see one more bullish move for Ethereum. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I covered my Ethereum price targets, some important levels to pay attention to, my Ethereum strategy, my current Ethereum trade and more in this video. So if you enjoyed or got something valuable from this video, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future videos. And just before I finish this video for the new viewers out there, there's actually three days left for registration into the world series of trading. For any of you that are interested in trading either Bitcoin or Ethereum once again, because I actually have an official trading team in this competition. Of course, it's the Crypto World team. Right now we've got 59 members and you can join my trading team if you would like, because right now we're actually doing really quite well in this competition. And if our team places within the top 10 teams, we can actually get a share in this multi-million dollar prize pool. And just by being a member in our team, once again, you can get a share in that multi-million dollar prize pool. I do not actually recommend this for the complete beginners out there. This is mainly for those of you that have a bit of experience in these markets and especially for those of you that are trading anyway. But yeah, if you want to check it out, you'll find the first link in the description down below and also the first link in the pinned comment. It will take you to this page just here where you can come and join my team if you would like. And also if you're joining my team before the 4th of September. So basically, if you're joining my team within the next three days or so, you can actually claim a reward of up to $3,650 US dollars just by joining my team and following some simple requirements, which I'll also list in the description down below as well. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.